Are you okay with Wolf saying that you can or can't work? No. He said some of you are essential, not essential. Are you okay with that? No. Restaurants and bars must cease all dining activities or they face citations, fines, or license suspensions. After 30 years in the Army and serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere, that we have to fight for our basic rights in Pennsylvania. Are you okay with that? No. I'm not okay with that. What you swore your oath on, it's to the people, not to the governor. I want this governor off my back and out of my wallets. How about you? He needs to go. We have a movement here, a movement that wants to take back our freedoms and rights and the fight for, for all that's precious to us here. They're the freedoms that we've taken for granted for so many years because they've always been there. Here's a letter from the governor asking for the resignation of the Secretary of Health. So where's the governor? For I reject this language of conditioning us, a new normal. The, are you going to accept a new normal? I don't know who he thinks he is. Walk is free men and women. You'll ask me the hard questions, but you're the little softball to Levine. And so, the Declaration of Independence promised each of you the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Who gives that to you, God? Well, the governor thinks he can give that to you. And if the governor giveth, he can take it away. I say no. No! Blessing and wisdom to start with the return to our country. We need God to pour his spirit upon our country and our leaders. We're praying every night that God will soften the heart of our governor who's turned a blind eye towards us. Galatians 6, 9 says, Grow not weary doing good, because in due time you'll reap a harvest. I ask you to walk as a free person. Choose life. It's a choice. We will lose everything if we stand aside. We've been called together for such a time as this. Together we will win our liberty. So together we'll secure our freedom. Walk as free men and women.